Welcome back to another episode of Wine After Wines. This is your girl, Janae. And this is Naja. And we're back with another episode. Welcome back to episode, is it 10? 10. Episode number 10 of our podcast. We are so happy to have you guys back. And we have an exciting show for you today. What we got? Girl, oh, I guess you need a beverage. Yeah. <laughs> y'all, so let me tell let me start off with y'all by telling y'all this weekend. I know y'all get tired of our little workout journey, but we don't care. So you just you're here for us, so just go on it with us. Yes. We had boxing class. Did you have fun, Janae? I did. I had a good time in boxing class. Um is this his business? Okay, my shoulders are on fire from boxing class. Right. And I'm not trying to be like Sue TMI or anything like that, but I can hardly even wipe my butt. Like, every time I like reach back like this, I'll be like, oh. It is. Mine's are, mine, mine's, I hate that. Mine are a little sore as well. Um, I feel like my chest, though, like, I can feel tension here. I don't know. Maybe I don't. We did, um, so we had a lot of like five pound weight uh, exercises and yeah, we were doing way too much, like five pounds felt like 20 after we were done. Yeah, it was, it, but it's working my flabs, so I ain't, I ain't even tripping. I ain't yeah, even tripping. so if y'all are interested in, if you're in the Atlanta, Georgia area and you're interested in a great boxing class that's gonna work you and you don't have to like know how to box like it's for beginners and for people who kind of already know what they're doing a little bit and um yeah go on our trainer troops page and it's going to be every saturday from 11 a.m to 12 p.m and it's 15 dollars. so and it's only 15 slots so get in there yeah i think um i think if he fills up saturday he might um do a sunday class as well so just yeah. looking out just keep looking out it was super fun super dope um you'll enjoy it <sighs> but moving on to some more workout stuff it's almost over girl okay so y'all this is the very last week of squats hober give it up for me and i yeah. But her, because she entered the contest. I didn't. I didn't enter this. This. Well, the contest has nothing to do with squats over. It's still oh. squats over. <laughs> you. You're right. No, it didn't have nothing to do with it. So, we've been knocking these squats out and running like we've had to do running squats. A lot of glute exercises. A lot of a lot of things like that. Because he didn't just just do squats. All those squats was every day. We also did some other stuff too. So yeah, like yeah. lunges into squats and. And yes. wall sits, which are basically squats and yes. all kind of shenanigans. Jump squat, seated jump squats in your chair with your squats. Five minute wall sits. We're going back to her wall sit. Five minute. Just sitting on the wall. I would demonstrate for y'all right now, but no. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is our last week of squats over. We're so ready for it to be over. Thank you. You've done us justice, but now it's time for you to go. Um, I don't want to see another squat again for a while, but I know that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, so hopefully by the end of this month, if I feel comfortable enough, y'all, sh I'll show y'all results from when I started to the 31st, maybe. She's doing great, y'all. She's doing great. You are so. too. Good. Keep up the good work. So this weekend, first of all, I want to say this weekend has gone by extremely fast. Mm -hmm. I mean, the work week is here already. I'm not ready. I don't know if y'all feel like y'all ready, but this weekend was the fastest weekend of, I'm not going to say of my life, but it was real fast. So mm -hmm. um, I wish I had a little bit more time this weekend to kind of like relax a little bit more, but I didn't get that. But that's besides the point. But on Friday, um, I went to go vote. And yes. um, I just, I'm telling you guys this because it's important for you to go out and exercise your right to vote, no matter who you're voting for and what candidate you choose, or if you're writing in Kanye or whatever you're doing, it's still important for you to vote. Um, I got in line at 
my polling place opens at 8 a.m. And I was oh. in line at like 7.45. Mm-hmm. And we were third and fourth in line, me and my husband, Andrew. And it took us all from, from 8 to 8.15, I was back in my car. When they opened the doors at 8, I was back in my car at 8.15. And it was so easy. So I encourage you to look for an early voting polling place in your area and get there on time and try to get in and out. Because on November 3rd, I'm sure it's going to be crazy. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be crazy. So, yeah. Yeah, me and my husband are gonna we're gonna go this week. Um, we'll try to knock it out as well. Um, since my mother is now officially retired, she can watch my kids while we go. <laughs> retired is her last day of work was Friday, so oh, we should throw her a party. You thinking about it? No, we're not thinking about it. We're just we're planning a little something for her. Yeah. Uh, so y'all weren't gonna invite me. Y'all just gonna do this on y'all own. Of course, we're gonna invite you. Yeah, she wasn't gonna invite me. That's cool. Now, first of all, my mom probably would be like, if if I if she had one, she'd be like, um, where's Janae? Right. No, she loved you to death. I'm her. I'm her second daughter. Pretty much. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so yeah, we're uh, with that being said, like she is, so I, she'll be able to probably come over and sit with the kids while they're um, doing school, and we can run out and uh, try to vote. Retirement is such a beautiful thing. Oh, my dad's been retired the same year I graduated high school. I want to be retired, but that's besides the point. I guess I ain't old enough. I know, I know. We're going to get there, though. But yeah, so he's retired, so they have retired home. And they, I'm going to use them. I'm just playing. All right, moving right along. (laughs) I love my parents. Me too. Girl. You talked it up last week. You talked it up. What's about, what's about to go down? I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna give you the honors. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, um, basically, there is a versus that's about to go down. You know what? I was so excited that I don't even know the date. I believe it's this Thursday. You know what? Ladarian asked me too, and I looked it up too, and I now I, it just looked. I don't mind. even know, but all I know there's a versus going down. But and Najwa, Najwa's looking up today. I'm gonna tell you who it who it is. It's gonna be bringing it back to Atlanta, which I love, and it's gonna be whew, it's gonna be Ti versus Jeezy. Like yes. it's November nineteenth, so we got time to give it. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Your facial expression is a while, so we got time to get ready. And they're considering this season two. I didn't know that they were doing it like that. So they're... Well, I guess they said they may as well. But, okay, is that on a Thursday? It is Thursday, no. Oh, that's why I got, see, I got so excited. I looked at Thursday and was like, oh, it's this Thursday. No, oh, man, that's nearly I Christmas. I mean, Thanksgiving. Don't nobody want to do that? We got to wait all the way till then. Because I remember when I told you, I was like, dang, that is kind of far. But I couldn't remember the date. But yeah. I'm excited. Everybody's geek. Like, it's on everybody's page. Like, everybody's posting about it. So, like. So, who you got in um, verses? <laughs> what What did you call it? In the verses. What you thought I said? <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I love them both. But I think T.I. got this one. Okay, good. Because I, ooh, come on now. Me. That boy drops some hits, okay? I mean, I like Jeezy too now. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but I think I know I was more of a Tip fan anyway. So, like, from his I'm Serious album to I didn't, okay, some of his latter stuff, I was like, yeah, whatever. But his catalog is still great. Amazing. I, I like Jeezy. I don't think I know. A lot of his stuff. Like, I got no stuff. You want to know what you hear it. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's what I do with everything. So, mm-hmm. I know his stuff. Don't get me wrong, but. Girl, I'm thirsty today. Obviously. Girl, I've been I drinking mean, this whole podcast. Supposed to be wine after wines, but I'm drinking water after. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. After something. Oh, that's what it is. I just got off the treadmill not too long ago. <laughs> you just ran three miles pretty much. I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. It was, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. 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 Yeah
was that? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> look, y'all, look, y'all better t- encourage me to drink my water because if I don't, I'll be on this thing. I'll be on this trip. Drink it. Like that. And then what mm-hmm. you gonna do? You gonna host the rest of the show? You just gonna keep going? No, I'm gonna have to push pause and drive um out to well. <laughs> drive out to Fairburn, like. <laughs> Do you have my emergency contact numbers in case something happened to me? Yes, I got Drew in here. And okay. I got uh, Cornelius. So okay. <laughs> I'll be hitting them up like, y'all, she passed out on the show. Go to her house right now. I'm just going to watch her. <laughs> That's pretty much how to go down. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so moving on into the social circle. Uh, how I have a question for you and for our audience here. <clears throat> How old is too old to have an OnlyFans page? Listen. <laughs> I, I can't, look, I, it's pure silence for a second. Because I don't, let me tell you this. I didn't know much about this OnlyFans um, until, of course, you know, Janae. Five before. minutes ago. Yeah, she literally be hitting me up on everything. And I don't, I think she's too old. So for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, OnlyFans is a um, site where if you are a celebrity or a regular person, you don't have to be a celebrity, but most of the celebrities are using this and it's been really hot during the pandemic because um, celebrities aren't doing as much work as they would normally be doing because of COVID. So you get an OnlyFans account and you charge your fans and it could be as low as five dollars a month ten dollars a month twenty dollars a month or you can do monthly uh like not monthly like a what is it like a three month like a uh, discount yeah something like that but yeah but anyway so you post on this site like risque pictures or and or videos of yourself for your only for, for only your fans to see. You get it? I do. I take back what I said. I don't want to say too, oh, I don't have my ring on. I don't want to say <laughs> too old. I just want to, I don't know, maybe, maybe Lisa Ray. I don't feel like she needed. Yes, maybe- so we didn't even say, you just said Lisa Ray is the one we're talking about who is starting this OnlyFans um, page. Um, you don't know what she need. I mean, right? I mean, I was like, that's why I'm sitting here. Like, maybe I'm wrong because maybe she do. I guess this whole OnlyFans thing isn't for. I need to learn more about it. But mm. I know that there's regular people out here that have it too, though. Yeah, yeah. I've heard the name before, but I thought it was more. So I, would you, no, go ahead, go ahead. Would you would you start an OnlyFans if you just? Came time like you need some extra money in your pocket? Mm-mm. No, I wouldn't. No, no, I don't. I don't even have a Twitter. I, at least I don't know. I just I, look. I'll just have to open me an online boutique or something because I can't. I don't think I can. I'm just saying. I start me an Etsy shop. Start crocheting I, some hats. I mean, I just can't put these, like you said, risque photos out there. I mean, I'm a whole married woman and a mom. Some people are doing it with their husbands, starting their only things with their husbands. Oh. Mm-hmm. I wonder the type of people they get this. Safari and Erica Mena are one of the ones that are doing it. So, yeah, I mean, look, all I know is this. Get it how you live. If you feel like you need to do that to, to, to get by and to do your thing, and then that's what y'all do. I just thought it was like, I'm like, Lisa Ray, she's like my mama. That's like my mama doing the OnlyFans. I was like, mama, no. Who I want to see that? I guess you said, like you said, get it how, I mean, it is, they're not working either. So I I told, I guess I agree now. I mean. It, just I, caught, it caught me by surprise because I just, I wouldn't. I didn't think she would. She would do that, but you know, to each his own. To each his own. <laughs> yeah. moving, moving right along. <laughs> we might have to go back to that. <laughs> but no, um, y'all. I 
know everybody been hearing this whole big old thing about um, Ice Cube meeting with Trump's administration. Um, I, I, I mean, me personally have no issue with him doing it. I know a lot of people do because they're like, you know, they're anti-Trump or whatever. But I mean, he, he's doing it for the black people. He's doing it for the culture. He did. He never said, not once, guys, he never said he was a Trump supporter. Uh -huh. All he's doing is presenting a document that has all the needs of black people. Uh -huh. And he, he's just, he, what he did was he jumped on who bit first. Yeah. Um, I know that um, they talked about it on cocktails, cocktails with Queen. I mean, with Queens, that's with Lisa Ray in it as well. On that, um, do you know that show? I haven't it, watched it yet, but I always see like little snippets of it places, but I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, it's like Lisa Ray, Vivica Fox, um, Claudia Jordan. Is one more, it's one more lady. Um, beautiful, beautiful panel. Uh, Oh, I was gonna say Claudia. Sorry. Yeah, Claudia <laughs> Jordan, uh, Celine is it Selena? I don't know. I, I don't know. She's a singer. Um, but like I said, it's a beautiful panel of women. Um, but um, they they all heard him out except for Vivica. I don't know if you watched the. Well, I watched it, and I really never watched the show either. I just watched this one, and um, Vivica wouldn't. She did not like the fact that he she he met with Trump administration she pretty much went in on him she didn't want to hear him out all three the other three ladies were very respectful was Lisa Ray on the show or were they just having a discussion yeah he was on the show it was a zoom mm -hmm, he was on the show he he wanted to explain himself um which I feel like you owe nobody no explanation because at the end of the day you're you you're trying to help the the community or you know the culture and so, but he did, and uh, she uh, she was not hearing it. <laughs> she was not hearing it at all. Like I said, the other women were very respectful. Um, most definitely Lisa Wright. She was super respectful to his choice. Um, she's, and she um, broke down that he did not meet with Trump. He did not meet with Trump. He wrote, met with his administration. It was who, who bit first. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I just thought it was a, I think it's a very interesting topic that's still boiling up in, in media right now that, you know, I still want to get more information on. Yeah. I don't understand why everybody's so all up in arms about it. I didn't get offended when I, when I saw it. Um, mm -hmm. The way I understood it is that he presented a document that is supposed to help further our people and mm -hmm. um, he presented it to both parties, to Biden's administration and to Trump's administration. But Trump's administration is the one that responded back. So he mm -hmm. said, okay, so these are the, these are our demands and this is what we want to see. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why that would be an issue. But, you know, Black people, sometimes we always look for a way to to call somebody an Uncle Tom or to try to... A cancel culture is a thing that we need to talk about. And we'll talk about that maybe, like, another episode. But we, we're so quick to want to cancel somebody because they don't necessarily agree with what you agree with. Yep. Um, and I think that's a problem. It's a very big problem. Yeah, and then and the fact that our society and social media now is we, we follow people. We all, we're we always doing what's popular and jumping on that bandwagon. So everybody hates Ice Cube. So like now people are without even fact checking and getting the facts straight, they're going to all jump on that bandwagon or oh, we cancel Ice Cube. You get what I'm saying? A hundred percent, because I totally agree. Um, I know um, DL Hughley went in on him, and I did I not appreciate it. Like, I'm, I'm, I mean, who am I? But I'm just saying, like, it was just, it was like, it made me look at him totally different. Like, um, not to jump too deep into it, I'm going to leave it alone after this, but I know DL Hughley made the comment, like, um, who is the the maker of a few Fridays? Like, first of all, hold up, that is not his full resume. Like, that's not even a portion of his resume. That's right. silly. so don't don't do that because who gave you a dang on broadcasting degree to do a podcast? 
you don't need one, but you know what? Just like he don't need a dang on degree or anything to go present some demands to a political party. I don't I mean, Trump, Donald, the Don, the uh, number 45, uh, he is the leader of the free world. And what experience does he have in politics? Exactly. Trump Towers. The Apprentice. What is it? Apprentice? Apprenticeship? Something like that. The okay. show. Um, come on. And now he is and our he commander. Grew up, he grew up with money. And he grew Exactly. He comes from money. And he, don't, he is now... Who, so who gave him... You know, you get what I'm trying to say? So he's the president of the United States of America. But mm -hmm. you're going to downplay Ice Cube saying that, oh, he, all he did was a couple movies. That doesn't mean he don't, he's not smart. And he can't speak up for us. Exactly. Kind of like a lot of them do. A lot of our um, entertainers do things like that. You know what I'm saying? They, they speak up. But then, like you said, then they're canceled. Now, I'm not saying that Trump was qualified to be in office in the first place. But what I'm saying is <laughs> sometimes you can be least qualified and you end up making it somewhere that people never thought you could. So... Exactly. That so, was my point in bringing it up, just for clarification. <laughs> no, I no, I totally get where you're coming from. Um, but yeah, that that was something that he did, and yeah, I just was, I I just I I just personally don't agree with everybody being so upset with Ice Cube because he ain't canceled in my book. I don't know about anybody else's book, but he definitely ain't canceled in my book. No. Not even. I mean, I don't really jump on the whole cancel culture thing unless. Unless I feel like I have all facts, mm -hmm. then I can be like, okay, and, and I can make a decision for myself. Mm -hmm. I'm not jumping on what everybody else is saying okay. about what, it, you know, about what they think about it. Amanda Seals um, posted something um, not too long ago about her saying that she, she was on there crying. I didn't really finish the whole thing. Um, it's like awkward watching people cry. I'd be like, <laughs> uh, but so she had posted <laughs> She posted something saying that, like, she, like, go hard for the culture or something. I'm paraphrasing because I really don't remember, but um, something about going hard for the culture. But, it like, right now we don't even feel like, well, what is she going hard for? Because it doesn't, the, the culture that she's fighting so, so much for, there's really no, there's really no culture in it. Like, we're not together, there's not a togetherness in our culture um it's like it's so one-sided you fighting so hard for mm -hmm. this and for that for black people but we're just as divided as anybody so we're so divided we're so divided as and then people are. still debating on whether she black enough because it's, it's just it's just you know yeah i i don't know a whole lot about her but um yeah that's a whole nother conversation too. <laughs> but the little bit I do know, I mean, it is what it is. She she is what she is. And if she she if she's going hard for the culture, quit crying and continue to go hard. Just that's this is my thing. I mean, I what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? If you're gonna do it, do it. <laughs> yeah. She was on there, she was on there crying, girl. She was like, look, we so divided, which is true. It is very true. true. Very true that we're divided. I 100% agree with that. I don't know what in the world we be having going on, but, you know, Black people, get it together, okay? Okay? We ain't got time. Moving on. Moving on. That's our favorite couple, <laughs> Offset and QWERTY. Oh, uh, <laughs> girl, okay. So keeping it with the theme of politics and et cetera, they were riding through um, Beverly Hills. I believe it? that's where. Yep. And um, Offset was not driving. He was passenger. I think they had a driver. Mm -hmm. And it was Cardi B and her cousin in the car. Mm -hmm. And they were driving along, you know, minding their own business, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Right in the middle of a Trump uh, rally, 
uh, I don't know really. I guess maybe I don't know what they were doing there. Maybe they were shopping. I I don't know. But long story short, he's on live talking about. And so the cops come up to him because they got a report that somebody was waving a firearm outside of the vehicle. And so of course they come to the car and they like, you know, what's up? We you know we got a report you've been waving a firearm. He on live talking about some. Do you know who I am? I'm Offset <laughs> from Amigos. I was like, I'm like, these folks don't know you. And neither, they don't care. They're in Beverly Hills. They see celebrities every day. And you just hey. said He said, do you know who I am? <laughs> I'm Offset from Amigos. That tickled me. I'm Offset from Amigos. Yeah, give me a little too. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> Sure, they don't care. Number one, number two, you are, you are. My whole thing is, you are still a black man in America. If you were in, uh, I don't know why I want to say Brunswick, Georgia, but it sounds country. If you was in Brunswick, Georgia, is where is that at? It's in South Georgia. Uh huh. I, okay, I would like say you, yeah, say you was down there, and they don't know you. They don't listen to the Migos down there. You would be treated the same way, uh, John from. The, the plant that worked down at the plant gonna be like but you're right you're right so that i mean it's cool you can throw that around you know you you know i'm offset from amigos but in word that's how they thinking of you they don't they don't care still a black man. you're still a black man. anyway what happened with the end of the story um i so i guess they detained him they got him out the car it looks like it was a little forceful um they got him out but um took him away from the camera and they questioned him um, and then let him go. But he was detained. I guess he did cooperate because they let him go. Um, they said he was waving a firearm. But I've also listened to, I'm guessing the driver was arrested on the charges. I don't know if it was the driver. It was uh, Cardi B's cousin. Oh, the cousin, the cousin. Mm -hmm. Cardi mm -hmm. B's cousin. They gave his name, but I can't remember. Um, he was arrested for the possession of a firearm. So I'm a little like, so you can't, he didn't have a license to carry, is that what it was? Obviously he didn't have a license to carry if they- Concealed, because it said a concealed- Weapon. Weapon, that's why he, that's why he, get, okay. So my thing is this. <laughs> What's your thing, girl? I was wondering, slick, like, you know, my mind just be thinking. I'm like, was it really offset waving the gun, but then old bruh took the fall for it, so then he probably just bailed him out? Listen, when I tell you that went, I, that, I, that was my next thing I was about to say. I was like, I'm not saying it was him. Don't get me wrong, because no. it might have been old dude, but I'm saying that's what they, that's why celebrities have entourage. They have an entourage for people to take the fall. Take the fall, and I'll just bail you out, bruh. Yeah, I got the money. I'll get you out. You know what I'm saying? So um, that literally crossed my... I swear that was the next thing I was about to say, but you got it out. So, But we'll see. Well, somebody, One of them Trump supporters got a uh, a video. I'm pretty sure they do. He was like, I'm the me. I'm from the Migos. That's why they following me right now. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, these folks ain't listening to me. You? They might be following because of Cardi in the back. Okay, let me... Yeah, they might like Cardi. That's because they know Cardi. Not like they don't know him. I mean, of course he's they know him. Cardi. But they definitely know Cardi. <sighs> cricket, cricket. <laughs> yeah. I wish Cardi, you know, said the best. Look, they just need to stay out of the media. They need to just sit down. Sit down <laughs> somewhere. Just pour Make here. some tea and read a book. That's it. Moving yeah. on. <laughs> so look if we end up talking about Cardi B and Offset next week then that, that's how you know they've just been in the news too much too much too so let's, let's make it let's make it our business not to do that next week we probably are because they're going to be in the news again yeah, we'll see. <laughs> um, so our relationship corner for this uh, episode is brought to you by being a responsible. <laughs> I'm just listening to your crazy self. I just be what I'm like, what? Y'all, we don't rehearse this this show. So <laughs> when I say stuff or when I say stuff, we both be shocked. So just as shocked as y'all are, I'd be shocked. Like, what the hell she about to say? <laughs> oh my. 
Ooh, so this is brought to you by um you need to be able to be responsible parents and um don't let your kids end up in a situation where they can't get out of let me elaborate <laughs> so the question the question of the day is should you be affectionate is it affectionate am i reading it correctly should you show affection in front of your children? And I'm going to let Naja answer the question. And then I'll um, tell you what I think. Um, affection in front of uh, your, ch your children is, I think it's totally fine to an extent, okay? Like, so. So that's, what, that's what a lot of people are saying. This is where the debate comes in at. So how much affection is too much affection? Go ahead. What do you do in front of your little sip, your little kids? I mean, he ain't going to get a handful of behind while Phoenix sitting there looking. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you was joking. <laughs> <laughs> Don't choke. <laughs> Excuse us. <laughs> We're not editing that out, just to let you know. Oh, my God. <laughs> I had just. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> We not, I'm just saying he, you know, he might do stuff when they turned around looking this way, but like, wow, they just looking, it's like, you're not about to get a handful of behind, but that he, we do kiss, like, we ain't slobbing each other down, but you know, have a good day at work, mwah, you know, one of those, but, and then, I mean, I hug on him, and then like, you know, we play fight and stuff in front of the kids a lot of times, you know? Play fight in What's front of the kids. Fight? It's probably di a totally different definition than you and Drew. Oh. <laughs> Y'all little freaky tells probably. <laughs> <laughs> we do a lot of little things, but not, it's nothing as, uh, I mean, my kids are four and six, so we wouldn't do nothing crazy. Um, they never walked in on us or anything like that either, so. <laughs> I feel like this happened to me. You walked in on your parents or the kids? No, I feel like the reverse. I feel like my my kids have walked in on me. No, we have we. But like not where they saw me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Okay. Anywho, so <clears throat> I think me. it's important for your kids to see affection because I do know this girl. Um, I used to work with. She was saying that she's never, ever, ever seen her mom or dad, like, even hold hands or kiss or hug or anything. And so, as a result, um, affection in her relationships is different. Mm. It's, um, she longs for affection. She and she, like, when she... I don't know. I feel like it messes you up in a way. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you can't truly, if you've never seen it, and then you may not know how to, to give it, or the, or the opposite, you may desire it more than what the average person may desire it, if that. I, that makes total sense. You can definitely go either way. I, I like that. Um, yeah, if she's never seen her parents um, have any type of affection, like I said, a peck on the lips or something of that nature, you know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, no, I, I yeah. So to my point, I feel like it is important for <clears throat> for you to be able to be affectionate, but be respectful at the same time. Yep, there you go. Like, you gotta be. <laughs> Yo, for those of you who are watching via, via YouTube, my dog just came over here and just literally got in front of me. Now, let me tell y'all what just happened. So, since we just been, since we've been real and this episode is just like, she, okay. So, this is my dog, Bella. Um, she just woke up from snore. She was snoring so loud that I didn't know what the snore was. So I put my, for those of you who've seen our, our, how we do our things when we're messing up, 
I put my hand over my mouth to tell her to be quiet from snoring. And so instead of her being quiet, she walked her little behind, woke up, stretched, and walked over here. Oh, I love Bella. That's such a sweet dog, too, guys. That was hilarious. I I apologize for my unprofessionalism today. (laughs) No, it's totally fine. We're real, okay? Wine after wine. Listen. And we're going to have to add in barks into our dang on uh, thing, too, because <laughs> I'm not. I refuse. But, yeah, what I was trying to say before Bella rudely interrupted me is that show affection in front of your kids so that they, in later on in life, can know how to give affection and receive affection. Um, my mom and dad, <laughs> you know what? That's not important. Um <laughs> That was not important. I mean, you know. They no, they they showed affection, but okay, that's a whole another story. For me and my household, um, I think it's important not to only but to take it up a notch is to 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 show your kids how you handle conflict, to show your kids how you um, handle when you're in love, when you're not in love, when you disagree. I don't think you need to be like arguing in front of your kids and also keep bills and like money problems and like stuff like that away from your kids too because I feel like that stresses especially when they're old enough to understand yep and then they don't need to think that they're burdens Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying totally agree I never knew financial issues in my parents house if we like when you get older you notice certain things but my parents kept everything a secret. We didn't want for anything. When I say that, not like we got everything we wanted, but we, like, you would never know. You would never know stuff like that. Like you said, I, I like that one. Yeah. Yeah, you have to. And like, I grew up totally different. You know, I grew up in a single parent home. So unfortunately, I knew just about everything that was going on. Oh, wow. um, so I know the very opposite of what you know. So that's why I do say, like, it's important for, let kids be kids, as long as they can be kids for, you know what I mean? And Mm -hmm. then after that, they can take on, y'all know how it is as adults. Mm -hmm. Y'all already know. Right. I wish I could go back to when I thought it was difficult when I was, you know, pushing my first little job, making $7.85 or whatever the minimum. No, it was like $5 and some change, and then it went up. Mhm. Mhm. I remember them days, like, I, and I thought I had it rough. Yep. Until I grew older and realized it was more out here. Try to grow up so fast. Mm. And we don't, we don't miss all over the topic. But at the end of the day, no affection. <laughs> kiss in front of your kids. Yes. And all of that. You know, you ain't gotta be like tonguing your husband or wife down and stuff like that. Don't do all that. But you know. Just a little, you know, smooch every now and again ain't gonna hurt nobody. Yeah, um, definitely. I I definitely agree 100%. You definitely have to show some affection. Like, you, 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 I think you should. They can see that mommy and daddy loves each other. Yeah. Just, just don't go too far. But you know what? It is, it's important to keep it spicy. Mm-hmm. in your relationship too so they gonna know they gonna know if y'all um if y'all ain't got no love towards each other because kids can oh, feel yeah. vibes and energy and all of this all of that they feel that they mm-hmm. feel it if i don't know this is on my heart so i'm gonna say it so for hey. people who be like you want to stay in a relationship for the kids don't do that get out of the relationship for the kids mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because you getting on your kids nerves it'll probably eventually hurt them in the long run exactly so i'm just gonna say for the kids i don't know why i felt that so whoever who ne- whoever needed to hear that there you go I told you first Whew. what's next who's yeah. next okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> y'all we have our wine after one after wine's um tip of the week nothing big but we just want y'all to stay safe if you are doing something for halloween this year even if you don't celebrate it still be safe because there are crazy people out here in the streets we just want y'all to 
I, I mean, me personally, I'm not taking my kids trick or treating. Um, doing something at my parents' house. Uh, I think the same for Janae. I, I don't even think she take her kids trick or treating. <laughs> No, I don't. We don't do that. Look, mm-hmm. I don't know. I I did it one year. You did do it one year. But I, I just, didn't go nowhere but to my next door neighbor house and back. Yeah, they did a but little. She begged, she begged me to come over there. Yeah. They had, I had to taste the candy first to make sure if I fell out, then, you know, I don't give it to my kids because she was too anxious for me to come over there and get them kids some candy. She so like, are you going to bring them? I said, I guess. I mean, she you said, you better bring them. I said, okay. You took a whole bite of their fun size Snicker. Who? Hmm? You took a bite of their fun size Snicker. So you left. Yeah, the Snickers and the, and the Reese's. But that's the point. <laughs> but y'all just be safe. I mean, like I said, I, we're not doing any type of trick or treating. Um, I know some people are doing trunk or treat. Some people are doing all sorts of little things, but. It's um, still COVID out here. We're still in a pandemic. So still be safe and still be smart. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, the great state of Alabama. Is that the great state? It's Probably great. not. You know, there's so many racist people out there, but that's besides the point. That's where I grew up at. So that's where I'm going to be. Um, I'm being in Alabama. We're going to do like a hayride. We're going to do screen on the green. We're going to have some, um, what else? We're doing the same thing y'all doing with roasting the marshmallows mm-hmm. and stuff like that and do the we're doing a, our own version of trunk or treat so we'll just our family will have like little bags and stuff to give out so mm-hmm. and yeah, that's that's, it. yeah it's just literally her daddy stay on a whole bunch of land my daddy stay on the, uh, two uh, about almost two acres her dad stay on the uh she got they got horses and stuff so they stay on a bunch of acres but my my parents doing something too in the backyard that's pretty much what we're doing roasted marshmallows little stations for them to play around but that's it. Ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. Got, it's, like she said, COVID's still out in these streets. I mean, this time last year, we was having an adult um, Halloween party, and it was fun. RIP to the fun life. <laughs> I just hit home when you said it like that. I was like, oh. You remember that? We had a great little party. We had a DJ and everything. Much fun. Like, you had to come in the house, and we took, like, a uh, jello a shot. shot. Yeah, that no, was your entry. Then we went when we went to the basement. We had to take a syringe Jello shot. Yeah. It was so fun, y'all. We had so much fun. We, look, us, we going all off again. Yeah, sorry. So moving right along, we're moving on to Janae's honest moment, mm. which is brought to you by this bottle of water that I've been drinking the whole entire time. One mm. moment. Stay tuned, to see my friends. So. <laughs> My honest moment is brought to you by the fact that I saw this on Instagram the other day about um, teamwork in your relationship slash marriage slash whatever y'all have, couples, ship, um, situationships. (laughs) Um, So the post is basically like this girl was getting her hair braided. Okay, so... So this girl has a friend who has, she hasn't seen in a long time and she was getting her hair braided and her friend has like two kids, two younger kids. Um, so the girl was like having to take breaks to tend to her kids or whatever. And she was like, girl, I know it's okay. Like I have kids too. I understand. And so the girl was like, hold on. So she got on the phone with her husband and was like, hey, can you come get the kids? So I can finish doing um, my friend hair and then, you know, we can talk or whatever. So they, um, the husband came home in less than 10 minutes or whatever, grabbed the kids, got them dressed, got them something to eat, got them out of the house and all of that. And the friend that was getting her hair done was just in awe because she was saying that relationships that she has been in or have seen that would have been a whole like thing Mm -hmm. like it would have been like no I'm not coming to get the kids why would I do that blah 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 and so she was like why would I do that like um so she was like 
she was thinking like her relationship would be like, why would I do that? I'm not coming to get the kids. With it. And it would have turned into an argument. Mm -hmm. So she was just like, it just, it was just so refreshing to see black love like that where they worked together and it wasn't an argument something so simple he came and got and then she the girl in return made sure he had dinner um ready when he got back um to the house and you know they just took care of each other mm -hmm. so my honest moment is just basically like make sure you take you're taking care of your spouse but also have your spouse to take care of you in return so we were having this conversation about how it sometimes as women, and I know you can relate, especially um, moms who have a lot on their plates. And when your husband or boyfriend or whatever gets a chance to go out, they go out. Mm -hmm. And they go out unapologetically. Andrew mm -hmm. just went to the uh, Falcons game this Sunday. And after the Falcons game, he went to go play basketball as he usually does on Sundays. Mm -hmm. And after the and after he played basketball, he had got two clients that he went to go cut their hair. So guess what? Janae was at home all day long Sunday by herself to tend to house, kids, dog, etc. And mm -hmm. um normally I would probably feel away because I'm like, you've been gone all day and I have not had a break. For those of you who have small kids and toddlers, no. Like, you don't get no breaks with these kids. Mm -hmm. And my kids don't take no nap. Mm -hmm. so, so, I'm like, I have decided that we need to start taking, like, time as women for ourselves and mm -hmm. on purpose, just like men do. So when I feel like I need that extra time, I am now challenging myself and y'all not to think about the 10,000 other things that we normally think about before we take that time for ourselves that we know that we need. So I normally would be like, okay, but I have laundry, I have this, I gotta get kids ready for this, or I haven't really spent enough time with Andrew, so I probably should spend more time with my husband too so he don't feel neglected. And, but then I need to look at cooking and then got to get groceries and blah, 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 blah. Don't do none of that. If you need a break, take your break because your man ain't going to be thinking about all them 10,000 things that you just thought about before he took his break. Mm -hmm. So that's, true. It's that's, true. That's, that's, my, that's my mood and that's my honest moment for today. But I'm going to interject just a little bit. Please, <laughs> please. You, everything you said was a thousand percent true. It is true. But one thing me and you did discuss was when we talked about this was they never stop us. Well, at least our husbands don't. I don't know about, you know, the next woman's husband. Like my, as a matter of fact, my husband in general, like he, he's like, I mean, you can go do stuff, do stuff. And I'm just like, no, but I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to this, the kids, this. And he's just like, and he has mentioned to me, he was like, I am their dad. Like, is I'm not babysitting so he's like you don't do nothing but stop yourself and he uh, in my case he's 100% right I, I I do and that's why I was like we gotta do <laughs> yeah that's how I'm like I'm challenging myself because Andrew is the type of y'all Andrew the type of person that he don't like okay so say I'm out somewhere right mm -hmm. he don't bother me like, when I tell you this man don't bother me, he don't bother me. Mm -hmm. Like, if I'm out and I'm supposed to be out having, like, a girl's time or something like that, I have to call him to be like, hey, uh, I was just calling to see if you wanted to check on me to make sure I was good because <laughs> you ain't call me. Like, he, I'm the one calling him while I'm supposed to be out enjoying myself. And he was like, I mean, you was out doing your thing with your friends. Like, why am I calling you? And I'm like, I don't know. I just thought you might want to just call. <laughs> but, like, he he... He's so good about that. If I tell him, hey, I'm doing this, this day, this time, I need you to be here with the kids, he's going to be mm -hmm. like, okay. And he won't ever, he's never, ever, 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 ever. And I'm not saying this to give him a pat on his back, but he's never said, no. I, it's never been an argument about, no, I ain't finna watch them kids. I, mean, I wish he would say that. 
Yeah, it, it, no, but you a hundred percent right. Like same with Ladarian. He's never like he's just like okay. Wow, well, we I make can't. it more of a big deal than they do. Mm-hmm. We do. We, we have to stop. It. And if he can't do, if he if he has something to do when I have something to do, or he has to stay at work later, something he'd like, um, he'll be trying to find. He'd be like, I mean, can your parents watch? Like, I can call him. Like, he'll do stuff. Like, he'll try. So he will give. He'll give. He'll put forth the effort. But um, don't wait until uh, my thing is don't wait until we're burnt out. Burnt out. You are so right. To then <laughs> now start crawling and asking for help, because then we're gonna lead to a, a snapping about something small so true so let's be better it. ladies even and and this can go for men if it's vice versa and you feel like you you're in the same boat okay get out get out there take time for yourself it's mm-hmm. important i like that janae thank you i'm glad you had a honest moment with us namaste <laughs> namaste all right, guys, got a little knowledge with Naja. <clears throat> um, I'm actually jumping back. Look at me, I'm so controversial. Um, we're going to jump back to like the political thing for a second. All I really want to say is don't let anyone tell you you are less of a Black person because of your political views. Um it's all about how it like if you if you feel if you're a and i'm gonna say a trump supporter because obviously that's what the black community is against right now um if you're a trump supporter okay that's fine i mean i'm i'm not a trump supporter i mean you know he had some things he do right he has some things he do a lot of things he do wrong but if you are one it's all about how you handle it handle it in a a a manner to where you're not putting down other black people like you don't have to put down another black person or you don't have to say somebody is less than that is the issue that um we have as black people we we put ourselves in these categories and and we we end up dividing ourselves it's not it's not even white and black anymore it's black against black or upper upper class black people against middle class against poor like that's how it ends that's how it ends up but in all actuality we all black like a racist person gonna see that your lawyer behind or your doctor behind just like the person on the street because you black so my thing is um no matter what your political views are democrat liberal republican whatever you are like you're not less of a black person because you don't vote for biden you're not um as long as you have the right reasons like the right reasons and you're not just looking down on us because that's how i see candace always <laughs> she's the one to just be looking down on us yeah so, but then you have other people <clears throat> who don't look down on us who are trump supporters um but that's just my that's just my thing that's just a little knowledge i have um you know still go out and vote vote for who you want to vote for it's your right it is your right to vote for who you want to vote for but i am going to say you're not less of a black person if you're handling things right and you vote for somebody that us that normal what they call normal black people are voting for you know i get like a real <clears throat> i two things thank you for your knowledge thank you um Girl, I be forgetting that, like, the first thing, that the first question that pop up is, like, who you want president to be? Because, you know, when you first go to vote, you know you got to answer, like, 10,000 other questions about Georgia and the Senate and blah, 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 blah. And I be forgetting that the very first question that pop up be the president question. I was, like, like I was, I be shocked every time I go vote. I, it, I, go, I put it in there and I'll be, like, I'm just waiting on, like, the, the other questions. But right. for some reason, I feel like the president question should be last. Yes, right? Yay! So that jump pulled up. I'm like, dang. I sat there and I just stared at it <laughs> for a while. <laughs> and Drew was at the ballot thing, like right next to me. I looked at him like, <laughs> Leave him. you're going to get kicked out. But, yeah. um, but do you yeah. want Trump? Do you want Biden or do you want Kanye? I mean, come on. <laughs> so put up. Put 
it up uh, three for Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I just want to say like, I want I just this is randomly crossed my mind while you were talking. I'm like, I wonder if Trump was a nicer person, would people actually like him more? Like if he like if yeah. the, if the, you think so. If you he think, was you think black people would like him more? Like if he if he first of all he's a narcissist and that's problem number one. Um <laughs> now what forget anything I was just about to say. He got a lot of things wrong with him. <laughs> no, he you know, honestly, my thing with Trump, my biggest thing, and I'm not talking political. Well, yeah, but you need a damn filter you're the president of the united states that's my issue that is my biggest issue with him get a effing filter once you get your filter maybe people will hear you out more maybe people will hear you out a lot well in my case i would because i don't care if you're republican or democrat speak with a damn filter like you're doing dumb stuff that's just the same way i feel about candace owens and everybody else it's like people who think they have so much knowledge and think they know so much more than others than other people? I feel like there's a way to give to 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 give people this information besides yeah. looking down on your own people, no. and that's what I have a problem with when it comes to Trump and a lot of other people. It's like because you seem like you're so high and mighty and you just know everything and you just look down upon people and you not like you don't win people over that way Mm -mm. no you don't but see i'm also gonna even i'm gonna hit on and i'm gonna just say this real quick even biden he effed up when he said you're not black if you don't vote yeah pissed me Mm -hmm. off yeah who what's her name chelsea handler she she had some stuff to say about 50 like i don't care who 50 vote for because one he's a rich black man (laughs) who don't care he really don't. I mean, when I say don't care, I'm talking about, you know, political. We don't have the same issues. Yeah, we don't have the same issues. I mean, he does care but for his community. But um, she even told him, like, let me remind you, you black. I mean, he know he black. We don't, we don't need you to tell him that. All right? Stay in your lane. That's my thing, too. Don't, don't tell me I'm less of a black person if I don't vote for you. That's all. And that is your knowledge with Naja. Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> it's more than that. <laughs> it is cool. Well, guys, we want to thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Wine After Wines. And remember to follow us on all social media platforms. We have Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. And that's it. So follow us on all those social media platforms. We love that you guys um, love us because we love you back. Thank you for listening. If you want to ever educate us on anything we talk about on the show that you feel like we are not educated on, like last week's episode, we were um, told that we were singing a song a little bit wrong. So um, just a little bit. Thank you for that. Um, <laughs> but yeah like we love for you guys to interact with us please drop your comments below remember if you're on youtube remember to click the subscribe button and toast, turn, turn on your post notifications bell so you know every time that we post a new episode and we love you guys and we talk to you next week guys bye great week yes i love the dance